Yo everybody, what is going on? It's your boy Burkrown88 coming out of the YouTube video and today what we got is an update and upgrade for our Hardcore Hut team. If you haven't been following the Hardcore Hut team, what it is is it's essentially no money spent and I can't buy players from the auction house. I'm going to get into that through this video guys, but first what I'm going to say is this uh, this dum dum on the screen here forgot to unmute his mic, so I got a voice over this entire video so we get to go through all that and I hope you guys do enjoy it. I hope it's not too bad. But uh, just blame the dum dum in the box. So, I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that sub button and notification bell down below. But let's get into this pack opening, guys. See what we get. I know what I get, but I'll try to be as surprised as possible. We are opening up X Factor Choice packs, two of them, and we are opening up packs in the store. Let's see if we can get a good upgrade for our team. Here's our first X Factor Choice pack. What I'm going to do is just open this and then I'm going to go to the store and then I'm going to open up my last X Factor Choice pack. So this one is the 50 gold players. I haven't done it yet, but we're just hoping for Connor McDavid to be real with you. We get Rasmus Anderson, which isn't ideal because I already had Rasmus Anderson and uh, not someone I was looking forward, forward to getting. Again, with the Trevor Zegras, it's something I already have. He's on my team currently, but uh, we couldn't use him. So I'm like, okay. Anderson I didn't want, Zegers I didn't want, give me the third one, be Kale McCarr, and it's Kale McCarr. I meant be Connor McDavid, but I already knew it was Kale McCarr, so it was on my mind. But we get Kale McCarr, and right now this, this dum-dum in the box is talking about, oh, who should I take? Uh, should I re-roll Kale McCarr? I'm, I'm, I'm really not a fan of this guy in the box today because he forgot to unmute his microphone. But, uh, so we take Kale McCarr, and I'm going to go over a thought process here. You can see me thinking really hard. That uh, should I re-roll Kale McCarr with the other two to try to get the X Factor McDavid? And, you know, I'm not smart. We know that. <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait and see what I do. But we're gonna go through these pack openings. I'm gonna hit the store packs. We're gonna we're gonna go to the choice pack, because you know, with the hardcore hut team, I can't buy cards off the auction house. I can't buy packs with money. I can only do it with coins, so I need to maximize my return. And, you know, I should have went straight ultimate choice pack the entire time, but we went the greater, or the mini ultimate pack, but we went the greater pack, choice pack. And here I'm talking about which one would be best to do. I do end up doing an ultimate, a little mini ultimate pack later, but I sit here and talk about, like, what should I do for the better odds and most cards to pull? Because when I sell the cards, I want to get the most coins back. I choose going for this, hoping to hit an MSP, because if I hit an MSP here, it would be a big pull. But I'm going to, in this pack here, this pack, I'm going to get a couple of 80s, 81s, 82s. And uh, it's a good pack in general, but it's not the best pack I had today. I'm going to keep going through it. We get Joel Erickson Eck, you know, Turnbull, Nyquist, <laughs> and Wheeler. Nothing that, you know, you get overly excited about. All this stuff will sell. And this pack, I think this pack ended up getting me like 21,000 coins back, maybe 22,000 coins back. So I did all right on it. Jake Sanderson's killing it for Ottawa right now. But again, this dummy in the box, look at him. Look at him scrolling through, talking about it. We don't know what you're saying, bud, because you muted the mic. But anyway, we're going to just, certain act not bad. Scott Lautner, remember when he played for the World Juniors way back in the day? Everyone thought he was going to just be a beauty. He's been good and consistent for Philly, which was probably the best landing spot for him. But, uh, but yeah, Elvis Merzlikens, 84 overall. That is what saved the pack. 84s aren't crazy. They will get you a couple uh, couple thousand coins. So it was nice to get that because that's like 7,000 coins I think I ended up selling her for. So it saved the pack. And then we go into our second greater choice pack, trans something or other, whatever they're calling them. They change the names up all the time. And 80s and 81s, it's what you're expecting out of your first round. But look at that guy in the box. He just doesn't like it. He does not like it. And then we're going to go see what else we get here. Patch uh, don't know how to pronounce the goalie's name there. <laughs> and a uh, bunch of goalies, bunch of goalies. So we're going on to the third. And, uh, you know, Clayton Keller could have been the Clayton Keller we wanted, right? It just wasn't we didn't get lucky enough or Lindell could have been the Lindell we wanted but you know the dumb dumb in the box is smiling because he's like EA's trolling me but are they gonna give me what I'm looking for no you dumb dumb you don't get what you want because you're dumb but Mason Marchman Owen Power I think I said it the first time Owen Powers and then he's like I don't know why I always call it with an S but it is what it is round five as we have 146,000 coins left so we're gonna open another one round five yields nothing and that is just tough that is just tough to see. 
And these are not the packs. When you're spending 95,000 coins on a pack, guys, that is not what you want to see. Even the 84 was tough. But we're going to get into another one. And you, this is where you're like, hey, you know what? If I do it enough times and I open enough packs, I'll get something big. I'll get something big, right? And I take Shane Pinto because, you know, the guy needs a break. But uh, does anything ever big come? We got Max Domi. We got all mark eight two eighty fours. So you you go and buy three packs for a total of ninety five k, and you get two eighty fours. And then when we go to the ultimate pack, you know the ultimate pack, the mini ultimate pack is what it was, and uh, you know packs are packs, guys. You win some, you lose some. But at the end of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my team and show you exactly what we're going to do, how we're going to get the Kale McCarr in there, or do we re-roll the Kale McCarr with our other two X factors? to try to get McDavid, right? What do, what do I do? Because, like, you got the X factor. 85 Tage Thompson. Let's go. Huge pull. He'll sell. I think he ends up selling for, like, 20K is what I ended up getting for him. But uh, that's a big pull. That's, that's a big W. It, uh, it really helps pull it around. Two 84s, an 85, a couple 83s. Good pack right there. But what, we're, uh, what I was talking about was the X factors. I have Kale McCarr, I have Zegras, I have Poulin, and I have um, Anderson. So I have four to turn in and keep one, and the, the smart move would be to keep Kale McCarr, but I have Zegras powered up. So I, I rattling around in my brain there, as you can see how confused I am, at trying to figure out what to do with this Kale McCarr. Like, I'm opening this pack, this little ultimate mini pack, and I'm, the whole time I'm opening it, I'm thinking, God, what am I going to do with this Kale McCarr? And then I'm looking at my team here. This is the Hardcore Hut team as it stands. And like I said, guys, it's free to play. Uh, you can't buy players from the auction house. All of these players are pulled from packs. And uh, I can't build players with sets either. So the icon players you see came with the pre-order and the um, icon moments. That's what I got out of that. And the X-Factors I've been acquiring are from the startup pack, the X-Factor moments, and, and everything like that. So that's how I've been acquiring X-Factors. And now when you can see me, just glasses are fogged up, steam coming out of the ears, like I don't know what to do. But I think where I land is I break down Trevor Zegras and just simply turn in Zegras, Anderson, and Poulin and keep Makar. That, that to me seemed like the best move because chances are, this is what I'm talking about right now, is I'm going to get a forward and I'm going to get a center in my X Factor pack. That was that, that was my logic behind it. Break down Zegris and hopefully get a better center. And you know, hopefully it works out for me because now that I got Kale McCarr, I don't need it to be a defenseman, and I don't really want anybody else. They could have been Drew Doughty. If I had got Drew Doughty, I would have been okay. But here we go. We're turning it in and we're heading over to rip the pack open and see what our future forward X Factor is because it's got to be a forward now because I've just depleted my chances at getting faceoff wins with an X Factor. So I need this to have a centerman in it. True position. Hardcore hut has to be true position. So I'm going to open up this first one here. And it's going to be Braden Point. What a pull. That that takes the stress off the whole situation. Because now i got a center if I don't like the other two. Which Seth Jones is doo-doo. They could have made that Carter, but Carter Bedard and it would have been alright. And uh, Rasmus Dahlin could have been a good pick here. But because I needed a center, Point was where I had to force my hand. So I'm pretty jacked about Brayden Point. He's going on the team. We're going to upgrade him. 92 speed, 92 acceleration. He's got like 85 faceoff. I'm pretty pumped about that. And I'm super excited that Brayden Point gets to join the squad. And Kale McCarr also gets to join the squad. So, guys, that was the hardcore, hardcore Hut team. That was the big pack opening. And that's the big upgrades. We got Kale McCarr. We got Brayden Point. And I think the team is heading in the right direction. They're a Division Two squad, guys. And... Uh, They've been playing great. They've been playing absolutely phenomenal hockey. I'm, I'm happy. Um, I'm having fun with the team, more than my Leafs team. And then this this dumb dumb in the box is just blabbering on, and you have no idea what he's going to say. So I'm just going to move on from here, guys, and say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. I, uh, I hope to see you at the next stream, Burkcrown88 on Twitch. But until then, guys, you have yourself a fantastic day, and ciao, ciao.